All right, this is Sue's Love and Tarot. This reading is going to be for Pisces. Pisces, let's see what's going on here. Let's pick some cards. Ooh, all encompassing hands. That's interesting. I just did the Aquarius reading. There are hands all over the crown. Okay, so I feel like that message was uh, enlist uh, spirit to help you, right? Okay, so, um, and here it is, the all-encompassing hand. Ooh, victory of Miriam. Okay, so. That's like divine feminine energy. Okay, so I feel like you're moving in a space where you're ready to receive uh, the gifts from the universe, from spirit. Okay, and here is 3-3. Three, three. Ooh, Aquarius got 3-3 three, three, too. You who show the way. Okay, so um, by connecting, uh, they that energy that is also you can help you guide you in a direction where you could go with the flow, right? When it feels, when the water's emotions feel choppy, uh, they can uh, be the beacon of light for you, right? Okay. So I feel like a lot of you are learning some new things, right? Some of you had a child, and then that is like uh, learning new things. Uh, there's a new little being, and you're learning new things, okay? And it's like school for mom and uh, child and, um, and for all those that are uh, there assisting and, and coming together, right? Okay. Now... For some of you, this message I feel like is um, you are a spiritual teacher. And if you're not a, a spiritual teacher in some capacity, I feel like uh, it's whatever you're doing, your beingness, like if you're a musician, uh, just singing can also be the light, right? And be the way shower for some some people or many, right? Okay, so because you got Miriam. Okay, so um, yeah, I feel like that's also about birthing the divine child, right? And divine child can also be some sort of creative idea. It could be a business, right? It could be uh, anything. Okay, so. Scorpio got a uh, pearl, and uh, then Aquarius got the seed, which looked like the pearl that was in Scorpio. So I feel like it's like saying that no matter what we've gone through in the physical, uh, the light is always here, right? We can always reach for the light, and here's the cloak of Christ. So that's reaching for the love energy unconditional energy right uh moving from tolerance to really really uh deep loving right okay a new gown okay so nine completion energy so this is like what emperor's new clothes or cloak for some okay so now I feel like you've let go a layer of uh, shielding or hiding energy. So you feel uh, more comfortable in your skin. If this is not you, um, I feel like you're moving towards this. Fe that's like feeling comfortable in your body, mind, and spirit, right, as a whole. Uh, whereas maybe before you didn't feel uh, this sense of confidence like you do now. Or moving in April. Okay. I feel like some of you are going to um, be traveling to France for some reason. Okay. Uh, let's pick another card. Sacred Soul Sister. Okay, so this is like... 
one energy, right? It's the unity energy. It's like all beings, right, in the universe, they are extensions of self. And uh, as, uh, you can call it aspect itself. But, uh, and sometimes uh, we wouldn't want to identify with some of these people. <laughs> right? Okay, but I feel like this is bringing it home and reminding you uh, that um, everyone is a vessel of these energies, right? And uh, if we remind ourselves, right, of the sacred soul that all uh, have or have access to, right, uh, then uh, we could see uh, the world uh, and a brighter light. Okay, so here it's like, it's like they're blown wind, right? Okay, so, okay, so Scorpio, I think, got the four winds. Okay, so uh, you might be uh, interested in a water sign for some of you. Okay. All right, that's nice. All right. Let's look into tarot. see what you might be focusing on in April. Ooh, okay, Jupiter expansion. Okay, so yeah, a lot of us are, right, as a collective and also as individuals. Okay, so, okay. So here in this card, I noticed the dice, right? And we had like four. I noticed four, four, that's eight, right? And then we have five. So it's like a four to me is like love. And then we have, what is that? Okay, so then if you add these, right? Then uh, that goes back to four. Okay, so enthusiasm optimism aquarius had this all it was all about positivity and creativity enthusiasm optimism generosity okay uh beliefs luck seeking travel positivity uh lectures foreign cultures teaching pilgrimage and chance expansion and leaping exploration and potential looking into potentials right all right so all right, so some of you are building new foundations. Okay, so uh, here it says family and home, so that whoever had the baby, right? Okay, so there's a lot in that. Cooking, inner world, real estate, shelter, self-care, rejuvenation, uh, looking at habits, right? And seeing if we can change some of those that uh, we'd like to change. And uh, Shell, so uh, Shell is here. So it's all about action steps, though, I feel like in this April. Okay, so even though you may feel like hibernating, I feel like it's calling for moving, action. Okay, yeah, see, Aquarius energy. Okay, so um, and here it says POW. <laughs> Experimental energy, rational, unique, liberal, uh, electric, group-oriented, humanitarian, free, uh, radical. Yeah, I feel like a lot of us are moving towards... Uh, Freedom, too, if we don't feel free in our minds. It's like freeing the mind to free ourselves. Okay, so eccentric, eccentric, diverse, futuristic, utopian. Okay, right. Okay.
Okay, so some of you are going back and forth whether you wanted to be single with a person or not. Either way, you're going to have love and money. That's what the message is here. Okay. It will be available to you. Yeah, Ten of Cups. So whatever path you take, it, it's saying, well, don't worry. Look, the Ten of Cups is here. You've already done the dream work for it is what I'm getting. What's the next card? Okay, so it says Ursa Minor, Ace of Cups. Okay, so and it, it so just take keep taking those action steps, right? Woo, moving in a new truth. Excuse me, my phone was ringing. Okay, uh, moving in a new truth, Ace of Swords. So you got two Aces here, Ace of Cups and Ace of Swords. Okay, and uh, Princess of Swords. Okay, so what I want to say here is, okay, make sure you're in kind of spring-like energy, lovey-dovey energy, and not kind of this cold uh, demeanor, right? Okay, winter energy here, because we're moving in spring. Okay, so for some of you, uh, this could be that you want to go towards a uh, earth sign. Okay, Queen of Pentacles is showing up. Okay. Okay, here's the air sign. Okay, but I really feel like that's you, and especially if you're cusping energy. So the money is here, right? Okay. So you may need to tap into, um, it may not be instant, right? But the key is, Spirit is suggesting here that it's here. So just um, keep trucking along and uh, wonderful things will uh, light up for you in your past. So the key is to uh, be aware, right? Uh, be present in the moment and also uh, looking to the future. I'll leave you with that. Thank you.